And that brings us to the final and perhaps darkest chapter of Blaine Higgs' tenure as Premier. Policy 713. It is a direct attack on trans and non-binary youth. And I think it's really important to dig into this, not only because of protecting the rights and safety of trans youth is essential, but it's also an important window into how Blaine Higgs thinks not only about governing, but about people. So for a bit of context, New Brunswick has a ton of numbered policies that inform a lot of how the government operates. Policy 713 was established in August of 2020, and it gave a bunch of requirements for 2S LGBTQI plus inclusion, including creating safe, affirming environments. And the way this whole thing played out was a bit strange. The government initially started developing this policy in 2018, and there's a pretty standard internal development process through this whole thing. We have the documentation from it. Government recognized that 2S LGBTQI plus people experience elevated rates of physical, verbal, and sexual harassment and assaults at school on a daily basis. And they got requests from stakeholders for a provincial policy on safety. And so that's what they did. They set up minimum requirements to keep kids safe. The policy was brought forward to Education Minister Dominic Cardi, who received a briefing note that said, quote, significant public interest has been generated about this policy, and pressure is increasing for its release. And so... Cardi, the education minister, stalled on signing it because he kept asking Blaine Higgs what to do, and Higgs asked what Cardi called, quote, vague and worryingly misinformed questions about the sex education curriculum. Then, in 2020, Higgs called the snap election, and Cardi signed the policy that day, put it into effect, without talking to anybody. He says he was just clearing his desk. Then, when Higgs was re-elected and found out the policy was in place, he was not happy. So he called for a caucus meeting to address policy 713, even though he implemented it himself less than a year earlier. Then, in April 2023, it was put under official review. Higgs claims that this was because of concerns and misunderstandings of its implementation, but as a part of this process, Dominic Cardi resigned as education minister, saying, quote, at some point, working style and values have to matter. And he pointed to significant frustrations with Higgs' leadership style. Then he was kicked out of caucus the day after resigning as minister. Then he announced that he's going to vote for Susan Holt. Following the removal of Cardi, Bill Hogan was put in as education minister, and he set to lying immediately. He claimed that there were hundreds of complaints from parents and teachers, but provided no evidence. Turns out, Three complaints. Zero made by teachers or students. In total, only one of those complaints was credible. One complained about litter boxes in schools, which is a common hoax, which even Blaine Higgs seems to believe in. Just watch this clip. Is this, you know, misinformation that's going around all kinds of countries that there are kitty litter boxes in schools? Why hasn't your government debunked that? Well, I, you know, I can't com comment that, nor, nor can I, you know, obviously I, I wouldn't condone it, but I can't comment on whether it's true or false. I've heard it too. You think there's a possibility it's true? Uh, well, I, I have no confirmation that it is, so I, I can't I can't say one way or the other because I have no confirmation that it that it's true. I don't think it is, but I, and and the minister says that he has no no validity that would say it is. If you have no validity that says it's true, well, do you think you should say that? that statement. If it, it's in it's he's he's responsible for education, and so if 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 that becomes you know um, something that 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 he can say with all assurances, which I believe he can then that would be a statement that he would make. Because I'm wondering... Because <laughs> he hasn't confirmed it to me, right? He's the Minister of Education. But do you think, like, just knowing what you know about the school system, that there are kitty litter boxes in the school system? Well, no, I, I, I should hope not, and, and I don't think so. Anyway, I think this, this scrum is over, so thank you very much. Have a great day. Important reminder, that isn't true. There are some cases where there is litter in schools, but it's kept there for a very specific and far bleaker reason than you'd expect. It's there because in the case of an extended school lockdown, they wanted to have an option. It's not there for kids who think they're cats. Like, think about that sincerely for a second. If a kid was using the bathroom in a bucket in the middle of the classroom, do you genuinely think nobody would take out their cell phone in a school? Live in reality, I beg you. And a lot of this was framed as an attack against transgender athletes. And again, whole thing rooted in made-up concerns. The New Brunswick Interscholastic Athletic Association has received exactly zero complaints about fairness for cisgender athletes in the eight years since the inclusion of trans athletes in New Brunswick. But that wasn't enough to stop Higgs from forcing a policy review and bringing forward a revised version that forces teachers to out students to their parents and prohibits them from referring to preferred names without parental consent. And the policy was found to violate the rights of children, so the government had to walk it back and issue clarifications, although they were very limited and still under review. And the whole thing is disgusting. It's using trans and non-binary youth as a political target. This isn't meant to keep anybody safe. If your kid isn't going to tell you their identity, that's not your kid's problem. That's your problem. You create a situation where your kid doesn't feel safe telling you the truth about themselves. Don't blame the government. 
Reflect on yourself. But when you want to use the power of state to target vulnerable children, that is singularly shameful. And it speaks to the kind of monster that Blaine Higgs is.